Locals call it The Rock. Newfoundland, jutting up from the North Atlantic, is Canada's most easterly point and has been cut off from the mainland since the end of the last ice age. But the dramatic natural resources here are perfect for harnessing in the form of renewable energy. In fact, Newfoundland and Labrador produces more energy than it needs, and now for the first time, a direct link will plug that power straight into the American mainland. It is historic in that it is the first time that Newfoundland is electrically connected to the North American grid. And of course, uh, the Maritime Link forms this new energy loop in Atlantic Canada that forms an electricity loop that allows the import and export of uh, the clean, renewable and reliable energy uh, throughout the region. So that is uh, something that is quite significant. The new power link runs underneath the Cabot Strait, linking Bottombrook in Newfoundland to Woodbine on the coast of Nova Scotia, a distance of some 360 kilometres. It's based on high voltage direct current technology, HVDC, which allows power to be sent long distances with minimal losses. Converter stations at each end switch the electricity from AC to DC as needed, and the link can run in either direction, the first fully bipolar HVDC link of its kind in the world. In addition to the long, usually long distances that we need to uh, uh, deal with, there is also uh, the aspect of the variability of renewables. And then how do we integrate that, maintaining the stability of the grid? And HVDC light, uh, which is voltage source converter technology based, allows integrating those renewables while maintaining the stability, while uh, enhancing the controllability of that uh, link. We are basically again showing how we can support our customers, enabling a stronger, smarter and greener grid. This link can send up to 500 million watts of clean energy to the mainland. That's enough to power some 350,000 homes. For Nova Scotia and beyond, that means a more stable power system and a reduction in CO2, supporting Canada's target to cut fossil fuel emissions in half by 2030.